Let's talk about the time I put a $60 Russian Soviet lens on my $12,000 camera. So like I said, about 15 seconds ago, I did in fact put the $60 Helios lens on my Sony FX9, which is a full frame cinema camera. And I want to show you guys the footage, let you guys know if this is something that you should probably be invested in in 2021. Um, and I'm not gonna be around the bush too long. The short answer is yes but we're gonna get into some footage and show you what it all looks like. Fun fact, the footage that you're watching right now is actually being filmed using the Helios 442 old Russian Soviet lens. I'm actually using that to film this talking head right now. Hopefully I'm in focus because it is all manual. And I tried my best to add some vertical lines on the back wall, shooting the light through these blinds in the patio. It may or may not work, I'll know in post once I start editing. The lens that I'm actually holding is a newer version of that lens. This is the Helios 44M6. Um, so this one's slightly newer, has a slightly different mounting system on the back. I think this one came out in like the 70s or 80s versus that one coming out in like the early 1900s. Um, but this one has slightly different characteristics. This sh it shifts more like blue in the blue spectrum and that one shifts more warm, which is interesting. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the footage now. So I've had this lens for a couple years now and I can count on one hand how many times I've used it, but I think that's gonna change going forward. I actually own two of these guys because I was planning on modifying one myself, adding anamorphics and colored flares, but I don't really have the patience for that right now or ever. This lens will give you the most filmic cinematic look and crazy swirly bokeh for the best price, coming in at around $60 from various eBay sellers. The Helios 58 millimeter is probably the best $60 I've ever spent, more so than any PS4 game I've ever bought. <laughs> I paired this recently with my FX9 to grab some footage for this video and I was blown away by the flare characteristics, the bokeh. I couldn't believe that this was collecting dust in my drawer for two years. The cheapest route to getting the Helios is to hop on eBay and pick the seller with the highest rating. You can also buy them cinemodded or rehoused, which is something that I've been considering after using them recently. The best source for buying them rehoused or cinemodded is iron glass. They can add anamorphic mods, additional blades for on the bokeh, and also change out your mount for your particular camera. You can also buy an entire kit of these vintage lenses at different focal lengths, all cinemodded for reasonable prices. One of my favorite shows in recent memory is You on Netflix, and not so much for the story or characters, but because of how it looks. 
looks. Now the glass used in the show was a set of Todd AO anamorphic lenses that are so expensive I have not been able to find them for sale, only for rent. I feel like the Helios 58mm has some of the same characteristics as the super expensive anamorphic lenses that they used to film this show. The soft focus, the center sharpness, the swirl distortion at the fringes of the image are all things that these lenses have in common. Now of course the real anamorphic lenses are of better quality, there's really no contest there, and if you're looking to rent them chances are the Helios is not on your radar, but for the filmmaker on a budget that is looking for the look, you can't really beat these. Now one thing to note is that the characteristics of each of these Helios vintage lenses varies lens to lens. For example, the two that I own are very different. One shifts towards the cooler tones and the other shifts warm. Also one of them doesn't swirl as easily as the other. There are also different variants of these lenses depending on when they were made. There's the original Helios 44, then the Helios 442 58mm which is the Carl Zeiss copy that's the most common, and the Helios 442 the 44M58 and the 44M658, which is this guy. It's the newest one that was made in the 80s. You can find all these lenses out in the wild for pretty low prices. Either way, I see myself putting this tool to use more so in the future. Until next time, stay fresh. Peace.